Boy, it's it's not like him to be late. Wonder where he is. Hey, Dave. Hey, John. So, where have you been? I was just, you know, looking out the window. It's a great view from these ivory towers. <laughs> Everybody knows ivory towers have no windows. Um, mirrors only. Well, that explains a lot, then. <laughs> so, we're watching Khan Academy videos. Yeah, I really don't know about using them with impressionable pre-service teachers. I don't want them to think that we're endorsing Khan Academy as content for their courses. It's it's just as a possible resource, you know, that there, it's in the news so much. Uh, but when I was Googling it, I saw this blog on Education Week that said, don't use Khan Academy uh, without watching this video first. So I thought we ought to watch that video, or you know, check it out at least. So remind me again why we want to use Khan videos in the first place? Well, I... I mean, just listen. He just announced that uh, a book that's coming out uh, that 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 he's writing, and listen to the press for it. A free, world-class education for anyone, anywhere. This is the goal of the Khan Academy, a passion project that grew from an ex-hedge funder's online tutoring sessions with his niece, who was struggling with algebra, into a worldwide phenomenon. Today, millions have viewed and subscribed to the Khan Academy's YouTube videos, which have expanded to encompass nearly every conceivable subject. <laughs> Sorry, that kills me. Uh, like all great innovators, Sal Khan established himself as an outsider with no teaching background to tie him to broken models, as his breakthrough idea has become his life's passion. Uh, schools seek his advice about connecting to students in a digital age, and people of all ages and backgrounds flock to the site to utilize this new approach to learning. In The One World Schoolhouse, Khan will present his remarkable story as well as his vision for the future of education. More than just a solution, more than just a solution, his book serves as a call for a free, universal, global education and an explanation of how his simple yet revolutionary method can help achieve this inspiring goal. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see with that kind of over-the-top promotion why someone might think a critique is necessary. Yeah. So, so anyhow, we should probably watch this uh, video. It's only 11 minutes long. It'll fit nice into your window-gazing schedule. Actually, nope, navel-gazing this afternoon. Uh, all right, so are we ready to go? Ready to go. <laughs> oh, uh, this looks like a Flickr slideshow. The rest of the video follows suit. It's going to be amazing. Don't be sarcastic. What could be worse than two guys sarcastically so, well, watching a video? Well, right, we right, right. This uh, amazing new online teacher called Khan Academy. Like, Khan! No, no, no. It's, it's not uh, Star Trek. Did that guy Although, just say uh, Star uh, Trek? Uh, Maybe uh, he's a youper like me. No, this is, this uh, could be good, eh? Putting on all this content online who's supposedly going to change education. Yes, my principal wants to do that. Oh, well, well I think we can take a look. Blah, blah, blah. Why don't you uh, forward it up to the action? Hopefully you're going to find that multiplying and dividing negative numbers are a lot easier than it might look in this one. Okay. You have to remember a couple of rules, and I'm going to See, I told you you can make it look easy. I'm going to give you more intuition on, on why these rules work. But first, let me just tell you. And why? He's going to do why. It took two Only minutes. eight and a half minutes. I teach for hours on this. I still don't get to it, man. Eight, eight minutes. Negative two times negative two. First, you just oh. look at each of the numbers as if there was no... Yeah, I usually wouldn't choose well, the same number of times itself. Well, especially two, right? Because two times two is the same as two plus two. two, 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 two I think that might get confusing. That equals but... So let's write that first rule down. I don't think these guys are uh, sincere. What's your clue? I think you wouldn't make a mistake. Like well, oh, they're laying it on pretty thick. He proved like, it. I don't know, deep sarcasm. I don't feel like they feel like they do it wrong. In this case, let's first of all look at two numbers. Good point. I hope they're better math teachers than actors. 
And the audio for this is awful. It's a video. We could rewind it and turn it up. You get a negative. Well, wait, but it doesn't have a sign. Negative. So sometimes he puts a sign, sometimes he doesn't put a sign. <laughs> this is not worth uh, watching again. What happens if you have... Well, if there's not wait, a wait, wait. Have we seen enough? Uh, it's positive. Oh. I think you probably guessed I why. I think so. Start to tell that these two are pretty much the same thing by the... Uh, All right. Uh, I get the point. Sal's video has math errors. Maybe it's uh, poor planning, poor execution, something like that. Yeah, but poor planning and execution, the same could be said for the critique. Yeah. The, uh, um, uh, but now we do know what's worse than uh, two guys sarcastically watching a video. Yeah, yeah, a video of two guys sarcastically watching a video. Yeah. So, um, uh, I don't know. I take these things pretty seriously. Uh, the worst part is uh, they're so... They're so sarcastic. I just don't see how snark helps. Not a big fan of Snark Week on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> you brought sound effects? It's a new app I'm trying out. All right, try it some other time. Uh, this is an important issue, and your jokes uh, and their snark distracting. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure it's simply snark. It's got a feeling of satire to me. Really bad satire. Lame satire? Lame satire. Yeah, the, uh, but I, what does it make a difference whether it's snark or satire? Well, you know, I think of snark as being sort of mean-spirited. It doesn't really have a purpose, putting something down. While satire is used to draw uh, attention to some foolish perspective, like Mr. Khan being responsible for single-handedly reimagining education. I mean, remember what you read earlier from his book? Yeah, that was a bit deep. But uh, um, uh, you had an interesting observation in there. I did? Yeah, yeah. It, um, both that and uh, uh, Khan, especially f from what I've read about him, are trying, they're trying to do improv, right? It's improvisation. The, Khan doesn't have a plan in place for how he's going to teach the topic. And I hope that that wasn't scripted. Or what those guys were doing. Um, and improv might work well in comedy. When it's done by experts, and even then it can be iffy. Yeah, Saturday Night, night Live. Live. Yeah. So uh, uh, there is a place for improvisation and teaching, of course. I mean, just today I was doing it in class. Uh, but the planning's uh, it's just crucial to ensure that the, the sequencing of concepts makes pedagogical sense. Um, like you always say, a plan isn't a scrap. I think that says script. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. A plan isn't a script. Huh. But, but really, yeah, this, the sequencing of concepts makes pedagogical sense. That's the kind of language, John, that makes people want to listen to Khan instead of the ivory tower types. Yeah. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, teachers are always thinking about their students, what they need, um, what they know already, um, uh, what would be good based on what the students know already. Well, maybe it would be worthwhile for our pre-service teachers to see what happens when a lesson is impl implemented off the cuff like uh, Khan does in this example. Yeah, the, the production piece is interesting as well. Say more. Well, I mean, neither of us wants our uh, teachers to be entertainers or to think of themselves as entertainers. Uh, but the lesson does have to be uh, decipherable, um, understandable to the learner. That's why some, at, you know, some of teacher education is about things like using the whiteboard, word choice, volume, articulation. I mean, in other words, we try to address issues that are usually invisible to anyone who's not in the teaching profession. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the medium, whatever it is, in person, video, textbook, um, uh, needs to support learning instead of interfere with it. Uh, so both, both of these videos, the one they were watching and this, this one of them, 
um, they probably make the viewer work too much. Mm, good point. So what do you think? Do we use the Khan Academy videos in our courses for pre-service teachers? Uh, given what we're talking about, um, I don't know, I mean, could we do an activity like uh, have them watch some of the videos, uh, try to identify the strengths and the weaknesses, and then make their own video? After writing a plan. Yeah, of course, a plan. And hopefully the discussion will be of a higher tone than the satirical uh, com commentary based on some old TV show. Oh, I don't know. It's not, I mean, it's not to my taste, uh, but maybe there's a place for videos of many different types. Um, oh, look at my wrist. We've got a little more time. Uh, do you want to watch a different video? Ooh, maybe we could watch a TED Talk. Let's watch that Bill Gates one. I love when he releases the mosquitoes on the unsuspecting audience. <laughs> uh, uh, I like when he's interrupted and he tries to reboot the talk by yelling, Control-Alt-Delete! Control-Alt-Delete! Okay, that was just mean. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder if anyone has applied MST3K to a TED Talk. Yeah. Uh, see, it's these... Uh, now what moments that get us into trouble. All right. Well, I'm going to go look at my navel then. Okay. Have a good one, Dave. Thanks. Yep, don't forget to push the talk. Okay. Ready? Action. Mm -hmm. Now i got to figure out how to end this. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if anyone has tried to apply to M3TK, or <laughs> a mystery science teacher, mystery science theater <laughs> 3K, to a TED Talk. Why don't you try that line again? <laughs> I'm not seeing it, John. Are you seeing it? I can't, I can't hear you. So you can't see the video playing? Nope. So... I loved it. Can we watch <laughs> it again?